Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I have a little project that I think would make a great little giftable for the holiday season. And that would be a set of note cards that are really fast and really simple and really pretty. This is the card that um, I, in fact this time I did case this card. This card I found on the website of a woman that I kind of follow in the United Kingdom, UK. Uh, her name is Lee Denton, and she made this pretty simple little note card, and I thought it was just so attractive. Uh, I have since then made uh, sort of a, the same thing and done it just a little bit differently. This one was done in Bermuda Bay. No, it wasn't in Emerald Envy. And this one was done in Dapper Denim. And the the main difference is that I have uh, embossed this, uh, uh, this uh, first layering piece on this card. Um, and if you look at the two of them, this, it was so plain on here that um, I decided to go ahead and emboss that piece there. Then I also, put a little embossing on the inside of the card for some added decoration and then emboss the outside of an envelope. So what I thought would be kind of interesting, these are part of the In Color 2016-2018 color family. That also includes um, this um, boy and I'm not going to remember what the uh, name of this one is this one is Peekaboo Peach. This one is Flirty Flamingo. And this one is something plum. <laughs> I'll have all of the names down below. Now, in order to make this card, what you need is you need um, some colored cardstock that measures, uh, let's show you this one. This one is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Um, and this one I made to open this way. This one I made to open the opposite way. And I'm going to make up um, all the rest of these here with you so we can get the idea. And the reason I did this color family was because it also comes with this gorgeous ruched ribbon. And to tie a bow with this ribbon is just so simple. Um, it just ties beautifully. And if you have trouble tying bows, this is one that would be really kind of fun and pretty easy to do. And I'm going to need this one for my flirty flamingo, so I'll just get it ready now just to show you. Okay, the other thing you need is you need two pieces of Whisper White that measure four by five and a quarter, and then you need one piece that measures four inches by 2.75 inches. Um, and then in the card stock, you need the card base, which is again eight and a half by five and a half to, and scored at four and a quarter. And you need uh, another additional piece that is four and a quarter by three and four and a half by three and a quarter. Then you need the ribbon. And I thought this would make a cute little uh, project that was, um, the five note cards with envelopes in a box, uh, those Uline boxes that I showed on my video the other day, um, and I thought that would make a very nice little giftable for the holiday season. So we're going to go ahead and make these up. So I'm going to move these two, leaving this one here, or this one I guess, um, as the example, and let's put these together. So. Um, let me tell you exactly what I'm using. The two um, embossing folders that I'm using is this um, Floral Affection, and this comes in a two embossing folder set that has this as well as one that has a little floral, um, uh, I guess I don't know what it's called, but a, a, a little, almost a swag, on the top and the bottom so that you could put something in the middle. And you get both of those when you order that one. And this one is called Petal Burst. And uh, this one is just, it's just really pretty, I think, the way it came out. 
uh, and I'll show you in order to save time of course I've run mine already and it's the simplest thing in the world all you need is your big shot platform your um, lucite base then your um, embossing folder and as long as the paper is fully covered by the petals that was the way I ran that one through with another uh, lucite plate on top. <coughs> Excuse me. Then for the other one, it's the same sandwich and it's just the smaller piece. And in this one, what I found is if you line this piece of paper up with one of the edges and you place this piece here just before this starts to make the corner, what happens is you end up with this pretty well centered in the middle of your embossing folder. And so um, that's all there is to that. It's really, again, quite simple. No stamping, no embossing, except for the dry embossing. Um, really pretty fast and I think pretty big impact. So um, what I have here is I've already, and that's what that petal burst looks like when it's uh, embossed and put on the folder. So I've already put the, the petal burst uh, pieces on those two, and I'm going to add that to this card, and we're going to make this one vertically. And so putting your snail on the back side of this, because this is embossed, I have a tendency to add a bit more snail uh, just because you want to make sure that it catches. So adhering that to the top of there. Then um, uh, on these, uh, what I did was I raised these on dimensionals and plan to um, do a little bit of work on these little pieces here. Um, and what you need is a piece of this ruched ribbon that is no more than about four inches long. And I put a lot of snail down two sides here and laid my ribbon about where I wanted to get it and then fold this over on the back so that you get this cute little corner cover here. Then that was the one where I just made my bow. So I have my bow ready to go on here. And what I'm going to do is attach that with a couple of dimensionals. And so I'm going to add a dimensional to both ends of the bow as well as the center knot. And then attach that right where I want it along that ribbon. And that's all there is to that. Oops, I've got that slightly attached there. <laughs> okay, then uh, go ahead and add some additional snail here. Probably best to do that on your uh, silicone mat. And let's see, I need this one on this one. So centering this on this little card and attaching this then to the front of the card. And that is just, I'm eyeballing the centering of that. Isn't that a pretty color? <laughs> it's just great fun. So now I have that one done and I have my piece where I put this in the folder, this little folder. And what I did was I just put this piece just in far enough to pick up this little flower on the bottom and ran that through the uh, uh, to emboss this little piece on the bottom. Um, so this, let's see, if this is going to open this way, I guess I want this down here. And I did it so that I got these little embossed pieces on the inside of the card on um, 
I did it so that it came out on both ends, and I'll show you that in a second, um, just because I wanted to see which I liked best, and actually I like them both. So on this one, for instance, I think my, my flower is on this side, and on this one my flower is on that side, and I actually like both of them. So that's exactly how fast that goes together. So um, here we have uh, this color, and I'm just going to see in the catalog very quickly if I can figure out what that plum color is. And Um, it's right here in the um, color section. There we go. It's the in color and it's sweet sugar plum. So those are the five colors, Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sweet Sugar Plum. So right there in the catalog on page 169. Um, Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take my sweet sugar plum ribbon, now that I know what to call it, <laughs> and cut off my four inches. And I am going to see if I find my silicone mat. It's right here. And put this piece on here so that I can put my snail pretty freely down here. And that is where I want this ribbon. So again, wrapping it around the back so that it sits here and then tying a bow. And again, this ribbon is just so easy. Um, it's pretty amazing. Okay, and taking my glue dots and picking up a glue dot on the back side of the bow ends, on both sides of the ends, and then one glue dot for the center of the bow, and then placing that where I want it on my card. Just trim that little end off there. All right. Now I can add the rest of my snail onto the back of this and cover those little pieces of ribbon. And put this, get some of this out of the way on my cardstock piece and then add that to my card front and once you have everything embossed and cut out um, I think you're about 30 minutes really to put this whole little card set together and that might be um, a little bit long. It really goes very quickly so I'll add this piece in here to my card base, add a little snail on the back of this And there's one that is opened this way. Okay, one last one to go here. So this one requires a little of this peekaboo peach ribbon. So there's my four inches for the outside of the card and my bow.
just like that. And I'll bring back in my silicone mat and lay my snail down on those two ends and take my ribbon, place it along the side here, and put it into place on my card. Then using my glue dots again, picking up glue dots for both ends of the ribbon as well as one in the center, putting that in place. Then it's a matter of adding the snail. I've got just a little bit of glue on the outside of that. Okay. And now taking these pieces off. Placing this on my card front and then adding my piece on the inside. There you have the project for today. So here are the five note cards using the 2016-18 in color colors and a fast and easy project that has some pretty nice impact and I think I do like this embossed piece behind rather than the plain and the detail on the inside and then uh, uh, my embossing also on the outside of the envelope. You could either put this here or you could put it on the flap in the back. Anyway, that in one of those little U-line boxes with maybe one of these ribbons uh, around the outside tied in a bow I think would make a lovely gift for the holidays. Uh, I think anybody would be pleased to get this little set of note cards. So thanks very much for coming by and watching my video today. Uh, all of the measurements will be down below. Um, the um, gift or the drawing this month is for uh, this bundle, which is Greetings from Santa Bundle, as well as the detailed Santa Thinlets. Um, and here, here it is, just a darling set with Santa here and punch outs of various kinds. And if you order through me this month, uh, uh, you will be entered in the drawing to win this bundle. This was, I think it was a $39 value on uh, on the website. So, and this has got a very nice Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night, this little list, a reindeer. It's a very nice set. So this is the drawing for the month of November. And anybody that places an order with me also for $25 or more gets a product gift from me. Um, and I think this next month it'll probably be a, um, uh, a, a color pack, uh, a family of 
papers like this one where you get a few of each of the colors in there. So uh, again, thanks for watching uh, the video and you can order anything that I've put on this video through my 24-7 shop, lbedinger.stampinup.net. So until next time, bye!